time now. <laughs> I don't. I think, I think so. so. I think you're there. Yep, I think. Hey. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Are we? Are we on? Alive? I think so. Let me just adjust something real quick. I know we're on Instagram. <clears throat> And I think, I think we're on Facebook, I think, <sighs> I think, <sighs> yes, you know, we're just chilling, just, and what else, I was just, what else can you do during this thinking, time? man, I'm out of breath for some reason, <laughs> for just going to the <sighs> end of the bed and back. I was oh, just thinking, God. whatever happened to predictability? Oh, the, the milkman. Milk the paperboy? Evening TV. Oh, you miss your old familiar friends. And then waiting just around. around the bin. And then everywhere you look. Everywhere you look. There's a heart. Heart. And, and a, a hand to hold on to. To hold on to. <laughs> Amazing. Mm. Oh, Anywho. good. Mom's seeing us on Facebook. Hey, Deb Deb. Great. I feel bad for saying that. <laughs> Anywho, yay! Happy Palm Sunday. That's right. We're waving our palm branches. Oh, is that, is that? Yep. Is that your palm branch? Mm -hmm. Oh. I asked my kids to make me some palm branches, and they, they didn't, did so. not. They did not. They totally disappointed um, in that branches. department. So we want to uh, start off by reading um, some pickup lines. Yep. For all you, um, all your romant, all, all you romantics, romantics out, there. out there today. Some, some awesome pickup lines for this incredible time that we're in. So, everybody get serious. This is a very serious time, but some pickup yes. lines that you can use when you're social distancing to and fro. Um. So here we go. Even during the corona pandemic the most contagious thing is still your smile but um 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 you can't spell virus without you and i oh, oh so sweet it's so mm -hmm. cute uh do you need toilet paper because i will be your prince Charmin. Ooh, 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 good one. Um, I really can't stay. Baby, it's... I really can't stay. Baby, it's COVID-19 outside. Um, one ply, two ply, neither. The only thing I'm looking for is your reply. reply. <laughs> oh! And last but not least, a great pickup line you can start using with all you know, those that you come in contact with through social distancing. You can't spell quarantine without you are a QT. But um bum That's awesome. Oh there's um, our there's our cat. <laughs> Brooklyn's She's just wanting to say thing. hello. Brooklyn's saying hi. <laughs> She's great. So anywho. anywho. <laughs> Well, today's Palm Sunday, and is. Um, this is um, the beginning of Holy Week um, for uh, those of us that call ourselves Christ followers. Um, this is like the uh, this is like the Super Bowl of um, our Christian faith. This this week leading up to the uh, death and resurrection of Jesus. Um, is kind of like it's one of the biggest weeks of the year for for those of us that call ourselves uh, Christ followers. Absolutely. Um, and uh, today, I just kind of zoned completely out there. Biggest I week in our Christian faith. Um, so today, Palm Sunday, is when uh, Jesus went uh with, they were on their way uh into Jerusalem mm -hmm. and uh he uh they were celebrating uh the feast of Passover um and that was a uh a Jewish uh feast that they celebrated every year 
um, that kind of, um, they celebrated um, back when the Israel, Israelites were in slavery. Right. And um, they, God called Moses to help lead them out of, uh, of slavery and bondage. So the Feast of, of Passover was, um, you know, when uh, they put the sacrificed lamb and um, put the blood on the top of the doorstep. And the angel of death would not um, kill the firstborn of that family and would pass over Aha! the house. Um, so they were celebrating that. And so um, they called some of his disciples to go get a donkey um, that had never been ridden before. And uh, so they... Uh, got this donkey and um, uh, brought it to Jesus, and um, then uh, he got on it and began to ride through the the city of Jerusalem. And uh, the cool thing is that um, he finally was. They really recognized him as the Messiah. Messiah yeah, and um, they started waving palm branches. Palm Sunday. Ah. Oh. Huh? And yeah, so and they were waving palm branches and placing palm branches on the road and uh, for Jesus to ride over. And uh, the cool thing about uh, palm branches is that um, a palm branch was kind of uh, had a meaning of victory hmm. and triumph. That's cool. And also peace. Um, and so they That's were simple. they were waving their palm branches um, in victory that their Messiah had finally come. Um, this was actually prophesied way back in the Old Testament, I believe in Isaiah, um, that Jesus would be the Messiah would would be riding through the streets on a donkey. Mm. Um, and uh, That's cool. Um, there's a couple really cool things about this. The first um, is the palm branches, that they were waving um, palm branches um, signifying victory and triumph and, and peace. And um, that is everything that, you know, that Jesus is. Yeah. And um, if you think about, um, think about how excited uh, these people were think about like going to your very first concert um, and you're just anticipating yeah um, your favorite band or yeah. musical artist um, like when I went and saw new kids on the block right right yeah or when I went and saw Bon Jovi Bon yeah Hello. That, was a good concert. that was a good one yes. or when I went to see Dave Matthews band kind mm. of like nobody that. nobody cares kind of like um that. but like when but like when you're when that person finally, or band comes out on stage finally walks out on stage it's oh these people have been waiting excuse me waiting for a generations Messiah, yeah um to come and and save them and bring them victory and bring them triumph That's and cool. uh bring them peace and he finally showed up for them and uh the the second thing is um that uh Jesus still um, rode through Jerusalem knowing uh, hmm. what was going to happen next. And uh, it's so cool how it all comes together, but he is the one that brings victory. Yeah. He is the one that, that brings triumph in our life. He is the one that brings peace. And um, the this really shows how incredible the love of God is that Jesus, even, even knowing that he was going to die a brutal death, that he was leading into a week, literally unlike any other, where he was praised at the start of the week. And he was, then he was in front of that same crowd of people yelling, crucify you yep. at the end of the week. And he knew that he knew that going in and he still did it. And he still, still he still it. rode through. He did, and uh, he he showed up for his people. He did. Um, what I want to just kind of um, encourage you and challenge you at the same time. Um, I had a youth pastor that always told me 
uh, always told us, I want to encourage you and give you hope, but I also want to challenge you to become a, a better person and better Christian. Um, so the, uh, the hope is um, that even though Jesus knew he was going to die, even though this was leading up to um, a pretty awful brutal. week, brutal week for, for Jesus, for sure. um, he still showed up. <laughs> And uh, he still shows up in our lives uh, today. Um, what do you need God to, to show up in your life? Um, how do you need Jesus to show up in your world? Right. Um, how do you need Jesus to bring victory? Um, what are some areas in your life where Jesus can bring, bring victory and, and triumph and peace in your life? Um, He's never going to leave us or forsake us, um, and he will always show up. That's right. Um, in the midst of our darkest pain, in the midst of any trial um, that we're going through, any brokenness that we're dealing with, he is always going to show mm. up, um, and uh, <laughs> he will he will ride through the pain with you. That's right. Um, the challenge is, as we really think about um, what this week means and um, the um, Jesus being arrested and and tortured and beaten and 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 crucified and and um, leading up to his death and and ultimately his resurrection, um, what are you what are you doing with all of that? Um, how are you processing all of that? Um, if you call yourself a, a Christ, Christ follower, um, how is that, um, impacting your world and how you live out your life? Um, how is that, um, shaping how you, um, talk to people, how you, um, how you interact with people? True. Um, how is that shaping um, the stuff that you listen to? Mm. How is that shaping the stuff that you watch? Um, how is that shaping the words that you say? Mm. Um, how is that shaping um, sharing the message of Jesus with others? Um, because it, it should um, drastically change who we are. It's true. Um, because what Jesus did on the cross. Um, if you're not a Christ follower, um, I'm sure you've got some um, uh, valid reasons um, why you are not. And um, it's true. Um, but I would also challenge you um, to take a look at those reasons and then ask yourself, well, why not? Why not? Um, what have you got to lose? It's true. Um, huh. And uh, if you're not a Christ follower, I would just um, encourage you and challenge you to tune in and um, to really look at the story of Jesus and look at um, what this all means for us. Um, the, uh, the, this whole week, um, Jesus was a real person. Yeah. Even... Um, even non-Christ followers believe that Jesus was a real person. Yeah. Um, there's historical evidence that the crucifixion and everything um, really happened. He was, was human. <laughs> legit. Yeah. Um, and uh, we'll talk about that more later on this week. But um, there, there is evidence beyond just uh, the Bible that um, that this is real. And what Jesus went through and, and did for us because he loved us so much is legit. Um, so if you're not a Christ follower, I just want to challenge you to tune in and um, just, just listen, listen just and, listen and take a look yeah. at, at the story of, of Jesus and what he did for us on yeah, the cross. Absolutely. Um, so how can Jesus show up in your life? Right. Because he always does. He and he always will. Yep. Um, and how can he bring victory um, 
in the midst of our pain. True. And um, how is the story of um, Jesus's death and resurrection shaping who you are? Um, because if we do call ourselves Christ followers, it should make a huge difference and impact in our world. Absolutely. So we love you. We do. Uh, you belong. Absolutely. You are loved. You are family. You are. And uh, uh, just tune in this week. Um, yeah. We're going to be doing some cool things throughout this week. Um, it's going to be more meaningful than yeah. stupid fun stuff. <laughs> Um, because There'll probably I, still be some stupid yes. stuff in there, but for the most part, we just really want us to focus week. on Jesus yeah. this week. Absolutely. Um, so uh, let's uh, we'll get the Zoom information out to you here real soon. Yeah, be on the lookout. We're gonna send that um, out in just a minute. Let me uh, let me pray for us. Okay. Um, Father God, I just want to thank you and praise you for who you are. You're an awesome God, and uh, your uh, love for us is so evident. <laughs> Um, especially on this day today that you, even though you knew what was going to happen, you still showed up for us. And um, that is so incredible to me. Um, help, um, help these events to just really um, shape and guide who we are and how we interact with people and how we share you with others. Uh, God, if there's somebody that's listening that's not a Christ follower, help them to just um, just start to listen and and yeah. check this, uh, check Jesus out and see what this is all about. And um, just uh, we just ask Lord that you'll just help us to really focus on who you are this week and who you want us to be. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. We shall see you on Zoom. Get ready. Invite your friends. Please. <laughs> oh, how do I get? Oh. You're going to crawl all the way back Shoot. down there again. Woo! Shoot. Take a breath. Ugh. Take a breath. Thanks, oh. guys. Bye, guys. See you soon. I'm still on.